And right after those are closed, you go ahead and latch them. Hey, Houston, we see our targets. Them, uh, we have a go for GPS incorporation. Pretty much going to shut down. The okay, we'll load. Okay, so it indicated to us that they are closed. We are going to latch. Lock them in place. Wait six seconds. And then we turn these doors off. And we turn the latches off. Alright. Now we're ready to do the Ohm's Burn using the CRT MFD. We need to check which ops we are in at the moment. So, check out the CRT monitor with all the data on it. Appears that we're in Alms to maneuver. So, might not have to do it. We might just go ahead and do it manually. Houston on air to ground two. Alright. Um, okay, so Papa two, even though it's considered complete, can't be considered complete until we know that all the other ballast is in place. Is that, a, is that a good statement? And so, we're going to go here to the CRT monitor and enter item 21. We're going to go into Ops 202. Oops. Go to Ops 202. And we're going to 
load the trim, and so... We are going to hit item... Item 6. Houston, uh, Comstring, check out. Uh, Comstring 1, check out part A. Uh, we're in step 2, looking for your go. Item 7. And item 22 and we want to make sure that our actual engines are on so we go to ohms engines and we arm them Go ahead and perform our burn. All right. What we want to do, though, is we need to burn at our apogee and prograde to increase our perigee, which is the lowest point of the orbit. So once the altitude reaches 204, which is our 204 kilometers, which is our apogee, we're going to do a prograde burn. But I'll go ahead and fast forward that. Alright, we are roughly there. So, I'm going to start the burn. I'm going to try to get the eccentricity down to at least. Nothing's ever static, it always changes, so you always have to be real vigilant about that. Right. Now our eccentricity is down to the target mark. And we are done with the Ohm's engines. We're going to turn those off. Okay, now what we want to do is some post-launched um, run-throughs. So for instance, we're going to open up the payload doors, and we're going to deploy the Kuban antenna, and the 
for the radiator. All this stuff is not, it's, it's pretty typical of any type of space shuttle mission, any legacy mission. Um, these are pretty standard procedures. Because most times you are going to have a payload, so you must open the payload doors and deploy the Kuban antenna for communication and deploy the radiator. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. Um, we're going to go to panel 13L, which is the back area. We need to check that the payload bay door is at stop. The payload bay door system, both of them should be enabled. The payload bay door should be open. forward a little bit. Boring waiting. <laughs> Bay door open. Okay, it's open and we're gonna go ahead and secure them. We're gonna deploy the Kuban antenna and it's on the same panel 13L that we're on. So we checked that the Kuban the tennis directs those off. Which is it, which is actually in the right position. The payload bay mechanical power system both should be on. Two antenna should be deployed now. And after deploy um, we're gonna switch it to ground and we're going to turn the mechanical power off. As you can see near the hatch, the docking port of the shuttle, the antenna is deploying. Okay, you antenna deploy. Alright, it is deployed. We're going to go ahead and ground that. Turn the power off. And we're going to deploy the radiator. Check that the radiator control system, both of them are off. We need to check that the latch control system, both are off. The payload bay mechanical power system, turn that back on. The radiator latch control system, both of them need to be on release. After the 30 seconds, we're going to turn the radiator latch control system to off. We are going to deploy the radiator control system. Um, we wait 50 seconds, and after this 50 seconds, we turn the radio control system off. And in addition to that, we turn the payload bay mechanical power system off as well. Let's 
you can see the radiator is deploying. Radiator deployed. All right, they're deployed. So we'll go ahead and turn them off, turn the power off, and we are good to go. At the moment, I'm not going to do the actual deploying and uh, of the RMS, which is just the robotic arm that latches on to the payload and you know deploys it. But it's it's really not that hard. You just have to turn the payload bay mechanical power system on. And in orbiter, you would press Control X, and it gives you a dialog box full of controls that you can control it by. Just go back to the seat where I'm at right now and you control it from there or you control it from the outside. Inside would be a lot more realistic. But um yeah that was pretty much it. There's gonna be a lot more when the full version comes out of the Space Shuttle Ultra. But this is just pretty basic run through of some of the things you can do, and it's really interesting. But if you got any more questions or any concerns or corrections, feel free to just contact me. But other than that, we are good to go. Thanks.